Hi guys, you're welcome to Delaware Studios. This is another Android development tutorial. We'll be talking about the material shadows and clipping views, which are, was introduced into the Android material design. The material design introduced the elevation for UI elements. Elevation helps users understand uh, the relative importance of an element and focus their attention to the tax at hand. Elevation is also useful to create animations where widgets temporarily rise above the view plane when performing some, act, some action. So we are going to be looking at elevation, whereby you have the material uh, card or widget that will temporarily you know, rise above the, uh, the background. And uh, we're going to actually be adding some rounded corners to it. I will be showing the material shadows uh, so we're actually going to be incorporating these in a card view. I have uh, a source code right from uh, uh, the source code we actually used when we talked about uh, the list and cards, which is uh, basically on uh, the recycler view and the card view, which is the basics. So I'm actually going to be incorporating the material shadows and we're going to be adding the clipping views to this particular card layout. Uh, without much ado, let me move straight to Android Studio where I have the source file of this particular application. So right there in the layout, I have the card view activity XML. So this is where I'm actually going to add up uh, the clipping view and the material shadows. You can actually include elevation uh, in the layout using the Android elevation right there in the XML. Or you can include it right there in the Java class where you're going to call uh, the set elevation method to the view and you pass in the uh, the extent of elevation that you actually needed so I'm actually going to show you on how to do this right on the card view right there in the card view uh, we have the relative layout as the layout which is actually displaying content in the card widget so I'm going to actually add up to this I'm going to set the Android elevation elevation so I'm going to actually add 16 dp to make it uh, slightly elevated and uh, afterwards I'm going to add a background which is actually going to show the shadow uh, so I'm going to call the Android background where I'm going to call the drawable you know, to actually get us the background and I'm going to give a file of let me just give it a drawable of let's say shadow all right so i have to create this particular drawable file inside the drawable folder i'm going to right click new drawable resource file where i'm going to name it shadow so here we go this is a quick one and now right inside the shadow i'm going to change the selector to shape that's fine and I'm going to include the shape we talking about here called the Android shape what about I'll give it rectangle afterwards I'm going to give a solid color let's maintain this way I'm going to call solid hundred color uh, where I'm going to give DD BD DD this sort of a light gray you know and I'm going to close it appropriately Afterwards, I'm going to give the corner radius so that we are going to have the rounded corners. I will call the Android radius where we're going to give the radius as 5 dp. Let's just maintain it as 5 dp. And we close it right there. So that's all. No, that's just how to include the elevation and at the same time, how to actually give a shadow, you know actually elevated if you should notice from the uh, design layout 
will actually elevate the widget uh, away from the background and if you should notice a shadow a gray shadow which is calling from the background uh, drawable well we have the shadow XML that we have the gray so I'm going to actually show you these right there in the emulator so you're going to actually see how to uh, incorporate uh, the Android clipping views and divining the shadows in a card layout here we go with the application if you notice we have a shadow and the clipping effects actually uh, uh, got displayed if you see the card view is like it's protruded away from the background uh, that's just how to include uh, the the shadows and as well have a clipping view right on your application you can as well include the dialogue holo light frame you know as the drawable if you actually want to have something of this nature to instead of uh, pointing the drawable to the um, XML that's the drawable XML which is uh, shadow you can just point it to the uh, dialogue the holo dialogue underscore holo underscore light underscore frame you're going to have this kind of uh, effect right in your card layout so thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye